Hi everyone, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. Today we're going to be doing a Books A Million Harry Potter merchandise tour. So let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> So I'm going to be bringing in my camera to Books A Million. I probably won't be doing a lot of talking because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of noise in the background, other people doing their shopping and things like that. So I'll just do a voiceover and describe all the items that I am picking up and showing you the prices and things like that. It'll be very similar to my Barnes & Noble tour. So if you haven't checked that one out, go ahead and click the card above so you can see that tour video as well because Barnes & Noble was super impressive. They had a lot of Harry Potter merch. I hope Books A Million has a lot as well. So we will check it out. I will just take the camera with me and we'll see what they have. Right. So for this first shelf that I found in Books A Million, this is just a quick little overview of everything. Mostly has the series of books on there. This first shelf has some of their illustrated books. And this one that we start with is the Fantastic Beast book. This one retails for $12.99. And for the Fantastic Beast book, this one was written by Newt Scamander, of course. So it has the list of all of the Fantastic Beasts inside. Here is the illustrated version of that same book. So you really see them come to life. And I just love these illustrations. So cool. This next one is Quidditch Through the Ages, and this is the illustrated book version of that. Has some really gorgeous pictures, really showing you the history and what all those things looked like that are mentioned in the book. And this retails for $34.99, which was the same as the Fantastic Beast illustrated book, if you missed that. Here is the three book series that also includes the Tales of Beetle and Barn, and that retails for $104.97. And here is the Tales of Beetle and Barn, $34.99. There's Babbity Rabbity. <laughs> and some other illustrations that I am trying to show. It's kind of hard to show you the inside of the books and hold the camera at the same time. So I am definitely doing my best. This next book retails for $29.99 and this is Exploring Hogwarts from the films. So it kind of shows you some of the behind the scenes and talks through what it was to create the films. And this little piece here is pretty cool. So this is what... The author envisioned the grounds of Hogwarts to look like, the map, if you will. It's pretty interesting, so feel free to pause and read that if you would like. Now moving on to the second shelf, we've got a lot of the paperback versions of the series. And we have this little fill-in book. And this retails for $14.99. And of course, I had to squish the squishy. <laughs> and in case you're curious on the pricing of these, this one retails for $14.99. And that's the Deathly Hallows paperback version. The fourth shelf has mainly the hardcover versions of the book. And then here's a few little things that are snuck on the side. Wizard parties. You can throw the ultimate wizard party with this book. The price was not listed. The next one is the Marauders Map book. And that one retails for $14.99. This is a little inside of that book. A little sneak peek. And that's the map that you can use with the wand that comes with it. And it will show those hidden features on the map. That's what it looks like. And this next one I really wanted to purchase. I'll probably purchase it in the near future. Retails for $19.99. But this one's really cool because it's Hogwarts, a movie scrapbook. So it has some paper replicas inside that you could actually take out. Here's some stickers. Here's a Hogwarts Express 
London to Hogwarts ticket. Now moving over to the next side, there are some of these hidden Hogwarts scratch pages. Retails for $12.99. And they also have a hidden dark arts themed one as well. And for these hardcover books, this one retails for $26.99. So obviously the paperback versions are way more affordable because that was the Sorcerer's Stone price versus the Deathly Hallows price in the paperback version. Here are some other items. This one's called The Wand Chooses the Wizard. It retails for $19.99 and comes with a wand. And it's supposed to make noises I tried to see if I could get any of them to work, but none of them would. I think you have to actually have the wand taken out to make it work. Not 100% sure. I could see that there was dents on there already, so I was like, maybe I can make them make it noises, but I couldn't. <laughs> I even tried the other one. This one is the Battle of Hogwarts. Retails for $19.99. Also comes with a wand, the Elder Wand. Here's some looks inside the book. So it's got some things about the film from the Battle of Hogwarts, of course. Next, we have the paperback set that retails for $86.93. So if you want to read the entire series, that's the way to go. Here is the Mina Lima art version of the Sorcerer's Stone retails for $37.99. These books are amazing. I do not own these yet. Hopefully I will be able to purchase these soon. They already have the Chamber of Secrets available for pre-order. So if you're interested in those, definitely try to get on that pre-order list. You can be the first to receive that book. It just has a lot of little paper pieces and pop-outs and things that you can kind of interact with while reading the series. So I think that that is so cool and unique. This next little notebook here has some coloring pencils and retails for $9.99 with a little quote on the back. And the inside has just some plain pages. So you could just kind of color in doodle or whatever you want to use this for. So I thought that was pretty cool. Definitely affordable as well, only being $10. And then here are the illustrated books that they have from one through four so far. And they also have a history of magic in an illustrated version. Haven't seen this one before either. Here's the back. When in doubt, go to the library. <laughs> this one retails for $39.99. Here's a quick little flip through the inside of the history of magic. Here's the next section, favorite characters. So this is kid movies section that had some Harry Potter books and merchandise items on. So another Wand Chooses the Wizard book. Here is Hogwarts Magic activity book. Comes with a little toy Harry, $10.99. This is what the inside looks like. Here's this tiny little book I found called Harry Potter, Your Magical, $12. And I think it's so adorable. So this is something you would gift somebody, but you would fill it in first. So I'm flipping through it here. If you can read any of them, definitely pause and read them. They are so funny. I do stop so you can see a couple. I would call Obliviate to forget blank, our most cringeworthy moment. You always take my breath away when blank. With you by my side, even blank can't stop us. So that is just a couple of different things that they have inside that book. This next merchandise item is really cool. It's a levitating golden snitch, but it retails for $75. I think that's way overpriced for this item. But let me know if you guys also agree with that. Do you think that it's overpriced? Do you think that it's a fair price for this item? I do really like it. Here is Harry Potter calling all witches. So all the female characters in the books. 
This is a Harry Potter fans activity book, only at $7.99. I really wish I bought this while I was there. I definitely have to go back for it. Here's a little peek inside, but I have a flight coming up in June that I think that would come in handy. Here is a Harry Potter origami book for $12.99. You can make an origami owl. There's the castle. Here's Fluffy. How cool is that? So it comes with the paper and everything. So you cut it out and then you follow the steps to create it. And the chocolate frog I found to be really cool. I would definitely want to recreate that. Now I've made it to another entrance of the store where they have all of these Harry Potter merchandise items. I was so shocked and impressed with some of these. This is a sorting hat paperweight for $19.99. Super gorgeous. Here are some tumblers. This is a Hufflepuff one with the glitter moving around. $11.99. And they also had it in Ravenclaw. Same price, of course. Didn't see Slytherin or Gryffindor. Here is some Skelligro for $14.99. And it's a water bottle. And you may know I have this item and I do display it on my potion shelf. Here are some more reusable cups. That one was Hufflepuff. Retails for $16.99. I solemnly swear I am up to no good. Same price for that one. And Mischief Manage. A stemless wine glass for $12.99 and a gorgeous herbology themed tumbler. I really love this one. And this one retails for $10.99. Next we have some journals and they have all the Hogwarts houses for these journals. They all retail for $19.99. Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, even a Hogwarts themed one. So if you can't choose. Here's Fox the Phoenix, split in between these for $10.99, and it's the Funko version plushie, Ravenclaw, and they all are felt, so that was me filling it there. They are super soft, and this is a peek inside since this one didn't have any wrapping on it. Very simple, lined, has a little crest on top, and where you can put who it belongs to in the front there. And last but not least, we have Slytherin. And the back here is just plain. And down below, they have the Butterscotch Butterbeer for only $7.99 for a four pack. So if you haven't seen my DIY Butterbeer, definitely check it out. I use some of that. And here's a great place you can purchase this at. Here is the Talking Sorting Hat for $39.99. And next is this snow globe I actually own as well. And this is such a great deal for only $50. Some games, the invisibility cloak, and they even have some clothing items. Here are some t-shirts. Late night Lumos Library Squad. <laughs> Super cute. And they retail for $21.99. And they even have some hoodies. This one retails for $59.99. Here we have a spell deck. And here is one of those heat revealing mugs for $12.99 of the Marauder's Map in black and white. Here are some more merchandise shelves that I found. They have a lot of stuff here at Books A Million. Super, super impressed. Here are a collectible coasters, never seen these before, in each house. Here's Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Very nice. And they retail for $25. Here's a player's kit for Quidditch. Here are some memory vials for the pensive. And here are some ceramic plates, a four pack set that retails for $24.99. And they also have some matching mugs to go with that set. Retails for $10.99. Here 
in here are some notebooks. There's a little wallet there. Newt's Commander's case. Here's a Death Eater's mask. Very cool. And only $39.95. Here's a little sign of Sirius Black, $12.99. Some Funko Pops. Here are some Patronus ones. A little baby onesie, so cute. Six months for $17.99. Here are some Department 56 figurines, which are great for some Christmas Harry Potter villages. And they are on sale for only $20. Great deal. Next are some AirPod cases. And here is a Luna Lovegood charging bank. So cute. $19.99. We have a neck pillow, great for traveling. Retails for $24.99. And so fitting on the Hogwarts Express because that's where you'd want to wear one of these. And this little item I've never seen before by Metal Earth. And it's the Hogwarts Express kit, so you can create it for $29.99. Here are some more board games that they have. Here is the front side of that shelf I showed you just a little bit ago. And they have this super cute mandrake on it for $12.99. Love that thing. So cute. A little Hedwig snow globe. Only $6.99. Here are some jelly beans in a metal tin, Ravenclaw, and they're all blueberry flavored. Here are some of these journals. I found some of these at Barnes & Noble as well, but only a Ravenclaw one. And here they have a Gryffindor one I really wanted to snag up. Great for like planning and journaling. Retails for $19.99 and they also had it in Slytherin. Here are some little magical treats. They've got chocolate frogs and they have these milk chocolate tickets for London to Hogwarts for the Hogwarts Express. More journals. Down below here they have a teacup with saucer. I actually just got an item similar to this in a subscription box and I actually like the item that I got in the subscription box better than this one. And this one retailed for $24.99. Here is a Hedwig plushie. She is so adorable. She retails for $34.99. Here is a little lap desk and notebook set. And here is a little mystery box, but it shows you everything that's inside it. But it was 30% off. Here's another Department 56 item of Hogwarts on sale for only $100. Great deal. Here we have a large puzzle of Hogwarts. It's so gorgeous. And it's 3,000 pieces and retails for $29.99. We have Hagrid's hut and his pet thing and a Funko Pop for $29.99. A laptop sleeve or iPad sleeve for $14.99. And here's a tower of accessories and jewelry items. We've got these really cute honeyduke theme earrings for $12.99. Down here we have necklace of a flying key for $10.99. Some keychains. Here's a Gryffindor themed one. Retails for $11.99. They also had it in Ravenclaw. A little Dobby Funko version of him keychain and a little headwig so adorable we've got a golden snitch retails for only $7.99 and a little wand and glass set some more keychains this side has a bunch of pens here are some colored pencils so cute. I need these for when I'm coloring in my Harry Potter coloring book for $9.99. Here are a set of coasters and all the house crests for $9.99. A Harry Potter wand pen, $7.99. And some fancy pens. They all retailed for $9.99. This really cool 
gadget for the Deathly Hollows. It does a bunch of different things for $12.99. This next side has mainly some socks, bunch of different socks for $12.99. Here are some set of scrunchies for $12.99 as well. Some little wristlets, a baby receiving blanket, and a scarf of the Marauders map for $16.99. Here are these like makeup bag wristlets. This one is in Honey Dukes theme so cute and a honey dukes themed lanyard as well for $9.99 on this side we've got a lot of bookmarks so those are some magnetic bookmarks and some regular bookmarks we even have some luggage tags and some choker necklaces this luggage tag retails for $9.99 and the Bookmarks retailed for $3.99. Here's another section with some Harry Potter prints, arts, and signs. Here's some puzzles as well that were on the shelf. This one retailed for $15.99 of Hermione, making her a polyjuice potion. Here's a clock. Some more puzzles. A wand. And then we have a beautiful artwork of the Always Patronus and a Privet Drive sign that retails for $9.99. Some more magical creature artwork, herbology artwork. So gorgeous. This one retails for $14.99. And here's the Quidditch World Cup sign for $17.99. So we are nearing the end of this video. If you've made it this far, leave a lightning bolt emoji in the comment section below. So I know you've made it this far. But here are some gorgeous totes that I found. This is of the Niffler for $74.99. This was so fluffy, I could die. I loved this backpack. If I needed a backpack, I totally would have took this home, even the little feet. Here are some house theme backpacks. We have Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, and it has a bunch of little emblems all throughout it. These would be great for school. And they retail for $32.99. Here are our last two items. This is the Nimbus 2001 Levitating Pen for $14.99. So cool. And here is a self-stirring mug. So magical. It's the Ministry of Magic theme. And inside is that little mechanism. All right, guys, I just got back from shopping. So you would have seen all the Harry Potter merchandise that Books A Million currently has. And then I did pick up a few items. If you have any guesses, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. But let's go ahead and get into it. So I have this huge, huge bag of things. So I actually only have four items, but it is a giant bag. So let's go ahead and start with these first three items and then I'll show you the big grand finale one last. All right, for the first three items, I got these little figurines. They are by Department 56. I got these three because they were on sale and when I saw them, I didn't know that Books A Million carried Department 56. I was like, when I saw them, I'm like, what? And they're on clearance? That's crazy, how are people not buying these? because these are pretty expensive. So since I saw them on sale, I'm like, I'm gonna snag these up. So I'll go through each item. So the first one here is going to be Hermione and Ron, and it was on clearance for only $20, and it normally retails for $32.50. The next one is gonna be Dumbledore and Harry, same pricing, but this one originally retailed for $35. And it is a set of two. And this next one is Hagrid and Buckbeak. Same pricing, but this one originally retailed for $38.50. <sighs> Such good finds. So let's open these up so you can see what they look like. All right, so I have them all out of their packaging. 
Let's start with Harry and Dumbledore. So this is Dumbledore, and it looks like the Richard Harris version of Dumbledore. He's carrying a book here. The details in his robes look so nice. Then here's Harry holding out his wand in his Gryffindor robes. These two are so cool. You can even see his little lightning bolt scar on his forehead. So these are so nice. Next we have Hermione and Ron Weasley, and this one is called Wingardium Leviosa. So if you notice, that book is floating there in front of Hermione. Let me see if I can show you a little better. So you can see that it's sticking out there from her and it is just levitating. And then here is Ron levitating his pet rat down below. And then there's just like a pile of books behind them. So this is so cool that they have this little scene here together. Love it. And then last for the people figurines that I have here is Hagrid and Buckbeak. And I love how Hagrid's little bucket kind of dangles here. I think that's so cute because this is an actual rope and it's not just like the resin that the rest of them are made out of. And it even has his little pumpkins here in the back. It is so adorable and you can even see water inside his bucket. I love the little details that they add everywhere. Here is what Buckbeak looks like. So nicely detailed, so beautiful. And here's the back of them. All right, based on those items that I've purchased, I'm sure you can guess what the last item is. Based on seeing what the tour of the entire bookstore was, you might already know what I purchased, but let me go ahead and show you guys. All right, so this last item I got is a Hogwarts. So it is the Department 56 Hogwarts Great Hall and Tower set. It is so gorgeous. I can't believe that this was on sale for so cheap. So it says it was originally $180, $189. I'm not really sure what they scribbled out there. And then now it was on sale for $100. And that is such a bargain because I don't even think Department 56 sells this one anymore. Don't quote me on that. Check out their website. I'll definitely link their website down below if you want to find them. But if you have a Books A Million near you guys, you should definitely check them out. See what clearance items they have. They might still have some of their Department 56 stuff on sale there as well. So I would definitely take a peek in and see. But this was such an amazing deal. I couldn't just let it sit there. I'm like, I can't believe someone else has not snagged this up yet. But let's open it up and unbox it for you guys. All right, I got it out of the packaging. You can probably see a little sneak peek of it right here, but this is it completely unboxed. <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous? Look at all the details, like the glass windows look amazing. So here we have the Great Hall. So this is where everyone would go in and feast, and it is so beautiful. Like. So this way would be the front. So you have the tower here and then you have the great hall on this side and you have this front entrance terrace that you would see here. And then everything else is just so cute. Like look at all those little details. So here is the back side. It is just as beautiful. And like the bottom even has like that beautiful rock detailing. And then this is the entire front half. It's so Gorgeous, I just love it. And you might have noticed it also has this wire here, and that's because this piece actually lights up, and you don't even have to put in your own like light bulb or anything like that. So that is just the bottom. It comes with the other side that you plug into your wall. So I'll definitely insert a clip here of it lit up at night and everything, so you can really see what the full effect of what it looks like but I am just so happy with this purchase. I can't believe I found it on clearance. Like that is amazing. And if you guys do have a Books A Million near you, I definitely recommend checking out, see if they have any of these, any of their Department 56 items on clearance, because it looks like they're clearancing them all out, because those were the only pieces that I found. They didn't have duplicates of any of those items, so I just snagged them all up, because I really don't think that I would find them on sale like that anytime soon. So that's why I went ahead and made that purchase. But that is everything. So I'm so happy with all my purchases that I made today. It was a great haul. I haven't been to a Books A Million in quite some time and I was very impressed with their Harry Potter merchandise sections. I thought that was amazing and so many things I've never even seen myself. So I thought that was so awesome. So definitely check them out. So that concludes today's video. If you wanna see me do more tours in the future with other stores that carry Harry Potter merchandise, definitely let me know in the comments below. But if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so you're notified during my next video upload, and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.